Uh, the last thing that you need to do once you have done your design is export it for something that we can use it with our laser cutter. So um, if you want to export a flat face out to uh, something that will be able to read in 2D design, a program that links with our laser cutter, this is how you do it. Uh, you should make sure you've got a save of your file. Then we want to um, we want to come over and we want to kind of select our face. Now, when you hover over a face when you are in the kind of 3D model, it tends to highlight itself like this. Okay, um, and uh, once you can see that you've got the highlight of a shape that you want to cut, at that point you want to right click. Uh, just try that one more time right click there we go and you want to go to export face as okay so there's a couple of ways of doing this but this is the way I most uh, I prefer the most so export face as like that that will then give you the option generally to do it as a DXF so see that dot DXF that is what you're wanting to work with okay so uh, make sure you put this in somewhere that you want so I'm going to go to my projects go to my year 9 we're working in pewter and we're in CAD here so I'm going to put it as my design idea maybe um, and your name you might add there okay um, to help your teacher and then you want to go to save there are things like options that you can do but generally our computers are good enough to know that this is this is fine so just save it like that as a DXF okay and that will save it now um, when you go to the laser cutter to now uh, import this okay I'm just going to open up 2D design from here I think I've got it there there we go so when you um, come it into here um, you want to come up to file you don't want to open it when we generally open a file linked to uh, uh, a a 2D design file which is linked to the laser cutter it generally opens it up at the same size as our laser cutter and what you want to do you couldn't open it anyway because it's a DXF file and you couldn't add it because it's a DXF file you need to import the file that's the important thing so you go to import and then you want to try and find your file so I'm just going to go down um, and select the file that I have got so I'm gonna see it's in a funny place because I'm using parallels but let's go here we go through to selecting it we got there in the end there it is now um, and you can see the file here okay uh, it's, it's it thinks it's um, a Photoshop kind of um, file or something similar but it's not we're going to click OK and open there and it will give you this dialog box and it's really important at this point you click on millimeters because we have been working in millimeters and then OK and that has put the file into our page you can then click on the middle here um, and just put it up in the top left hand corner generally for working with and now that is ready to laser cut